Released back in 1995 in Japan and a year later in the US, Suikoden was one of the first major RPGs released for the PlayStation, beating Final Fantasy VII by over a year. While it wouldn't make the same impact as Cloud's Adventure, the game was still an incredibly ambitious title for the time, with a lengthy story, a large number of characters, and a fantastic soundtrack. Its sequel released three years later would go on to be recognized as one of the best RPGs ever made. Unfortunately, the game was made by Konami, so you know how this story goes. The original team, which included director Yoshitaka Murayami and designer Junko Kawano, are teaming up again on Kickstarter to bring a spiritual successor to the legendary RPG series in Uwoden Chronicle. The pitch video has the crew dressing up in outfits that would make LARPers roll their eyes, and even getting a cameo from former colleague Koji Igarashi. And speaking of Bloodstained, it seems the memories of Kickstarter's heyday are still fresh on people's mind, with the team highlighting the concerns of backing a game still in progress. The game is being presented in a retro 3D art style similar to Octopath Traveler, with plans to have over a hundred playable characters, as they had in the original games. This is definitely an ambitious project with a goal to match, with them asking for $500,000. As of filming, the project has only been up for two days and they've already quadrupled their goal. That includes the console stretch goal. With that said, I have to applaud them for their transparency and openness, highlighting how uncertain platforms can be when playing games like this. With the game's expected release date in 2022, the plan right now is to release on PC, both the PS4 and 5, as well as the current Xbox range of systems. When it comes to Nintendo, however, they're the real wildcard, as no one knows what they are currently planning. The devs have made it clear that whatever system is Nintendo's main system, whether it be the current Switch, a Switch 2, or hell, something new entirely, that will be the system the game will arrive on. You can get a digital copy of the game for less than $40, with Bayer access at $60, with extra goodies including a vile soundtrack, figurines, and replicas of the weapon. While we haven't seen much gameplay yet outside of a boss battle and town exploration, I'm really liking the old school feel of the game and I'll be looking forward to seeing how the project comes together. But before we go, there is one other game I want to cover, another spiritual successor to a much beloved RPG. This is another crusade, being created by Dragon Vein Studios in Guajara, Mexico and it doesn't take a genius to determine what RPG they are inspired by. I bring this up because the game has a demo available which isn't half bad, especially from such a small team. They are asking for a mere $12,000 goal, and they've only made about half of that with 3 weeks left to go. They also have plans to bring the game to Switch and PlayStation. While it's great covering big name projects, we also want to give exposure to smaller ones like this. And if you're a fan of Super Mario RPG and just wish Nintendo would make a new one, and considering the Paper Mario situation, that doesn't seem likely, then you may want to check this out. And folks, that's it for another episode of Kick It. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.